Hello and welcome to the lesson on sequences. Sequences are important to understand because they uh, appear quite frequently in the real world, whether you're talking about sequences of DNA, music, knitting patterns or tiling patterns. These things are sequences. So the learning outcome is to recognize and continue linear sequences up to 100. Our linked learning is that we've already come across various sequences. For example, counting is a sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 is a sequence of counting. When we did one of our earlier lessons, we talked about these things called multiples. So just as a refresher, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. So your multiples are a sequence. You're going up it by four every time. You're adding four every time. So a sequence is a pattern, and that pattern is what we call a rule. So in order to continue a sequence, we need to establish what the rule is first and then carry on with that rule. So how do I get from 3 to 6 and 6 to 9? Well, I'm adding 3 every time. So to continue my sequence, I need to keep adding 3. So the missing numbers here are 15 and 18. Now remember, sequences can go down as well as up. So if I'm going from 36 to 31, I'm subtracting 5. I'm subtracting 5 every time. So in order to continue with my sequence, I need to use my rule, which is subtract 5. So I end up with 16 and 11 as the two missing numbers. Now, they can make the sequences slightly trickier by not only making them go down, but introducing negative numbers. So here, we're subtracting two all the time. So in order to continue our sequence, we need to keep subtracting two or going backwards on our number line. So if we were at zero and we've gone to minus two, then if we subtract two, we end up with minus four and then minus six. They can also make it tricky by introducing decimals. So if we have 2.4 and we're going to 3.2, we're adding 0.8. From 3.2 to 4, we're adding 0.8. So to find our missing numbers, we need, keep needing to add 0.8. Here are some sequences for you to have a go at. The green are easy, the red are hard, and the brown colour are intermediate. So see if you can fill in and continue the sequences. Don't forget to pause to give yourself more time to try these exercises. OK, let's look at the first one. Our rule to get from 7 to 15 is add 8. Check the rule by looking at the next one along, which is add 8. So in order to find the missing numbers, keep adding 8 to your numbers. So the missing numbers are 31 and 39. Here we have a tricky one that is starting at minus 11 and we're adding 4 to get to minus 7. Then we're adding 4 to get to minus 3. Now, if you think about your number line, you're at minus 3 and you're going to add 4. Well, three of them are there, so you end up at positive 1. And then add 4 again, you end up at 5. On this sequence, we have 8 and we're subtracting 3 every time. So we're at positive 2 and we're going to take away 3, so we're going to end up at minus 1. And then we subtract 3 again, we end up at minus 4. And finally, some decimals. So I'm at 0 0.165 
and I go to 0 0.6. So I've added 0 0.45 to the number. 0 0.6, just to check, is adding 0 0.45. So to continue the sequence, I add 0 0.45 and I end up with 1.5. I add 0 0.45 and I end up with 1.95. So the two missing numbers are 1.5 and 1.95. Sometimes you might be asked to complete a sequence where the missing numbers are gaps within the sequence. Now there's a bit of a trick to doing this and this is to do with the gap you're looking at and the number of steps to fill that gap. So in this example here I've got a gap of 6 and I have two steps. So if I divide the gap by the number of steps it tells me what my rule is. I've added three for each step. So the golden rule is look at your gap and what it's doing. In this case it's going down by 16 and count the number of steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. So to get from 20 to 4, I have 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. Divide the gap by the number of steps, and it's telling me each step goes down by 4. So I'm subtracting 4 every time. And this works for any questions on sequences that have gaps. Look at your gap and decide what the distance is between them. So to get from 3.2 to 0 0.8, it's gone down, so it's a negative number. And it's gone down, take one from the other, by 2.4. Now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. So minus 2.4 divided by the 4 steps tells me each step is minus 0 0.6. So 3.2 take away 0 0.6 is 2.6. Then we take away 0 0.6 again, we end up with 2. Then we take away 0 0.6 again, and we end up with 1.4. Have a go at these sequences and see how you get on. OK, so look at our gap. So we have a gap of 6 between 13 and 19, and it goes up. It's positive. And we have two steps. So positive 6 divided by the two steps tells us each step is worth 3. So if I add 3, I end up with 16, 19, 22. And 25. Let's look at the next one, the intermediate question. The gap goes from 52 to 40, so it's gone down by 12. So we have minus 12 as our gap. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 steps. So minus 12 divided by 4 is minus 3. So each step goes down by 3. So we have 49, 46, 43, and 40. Slightly trickier, these ones at the bottom, where we have a gap that's going up from 6 to 27. So it's gone up plus 21. And we have 1, 2, 3 steps. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. So they're going up by 7 every time, 13, 20, 27. But now, because we're going backwards, we have to change the function from a plus to a minus. So to fill in this space here, it's 6. And because we're going backwards, we flip the function to a minus. So 6 minus 7 is minus 1. Again, we have to minus 7. We end up with minus 8. And the final one, we have a gap of 
1.4 and it's going up so it's positive 1.4 is the gap and we have two steps so each step is 0 0.7 so to fill in this one here we need to add 0 0.7 so we end up with 4.9 but now because we're going backwards instead of adding 0 0.7 we need to subtract 0 0.7 so you end up with 3.5 and again we need to subtract 0 0.7 so you end up with 2.8 how did you do on those let's look at a couple of exam questions and see how you get on so these numbers are in a sequence and they decrease by the same amount each time. What are the two missing numbers? So here we have a rule that says take away 8. So in order to complete the sequence, we need to take away 8 from 42. We end up with 34. Now, as we said before, because we're going in the opposite direction, the subtract becomes a plus, so we need to add 8 here. So 58 plus 8 is 66. So the two missing numbers are 66 and 34, and that's worth two marks. Let's try uh, another exam question. So here's a sequence of numbers, 26, three missing numbers and six. What are the three missing numbers? So my gap from my 26 to my six goes down 20. And there are one, two, three, four steps. So minus 20 divided by four gives me minus five. So each step is telling me to subtract five. So I end up with 21, 16 and 11. So the three missing numbers are 21, 16, and 11. And that completes the learning outcome to recognize and continue linear sequences up to 100. The buzzwords are a sequence, which is numbers that follow a pattern or a particular rule, and a rule. This is what happens to go from one number to the next consecutive number. That concludes the video. If you'd like more practice on sequences, then please go to Moodle where there are worksheets or contact your teacher.